we've decided to venture a little bit outside Auckland and when we were thinking of where we might go we came up with various ideas a day trip to the west coast the bus to the hibiscus coast or even hiring a car but we had to roll out some of those options the tours were sold out the car was too expensive and the bus journey well no. paul didn't fancy <laughs> no. that but we did enjoy taking the train the one time yes. we did go to newmarket and it was only two stops so this time we are venturing further afield So we are taking the train to Manukau, which is a large town, used to be a city apparently, south of Auckland. And we're just going to take a look around, but we've had to change trains at Pui Nui. I probably said that terribly wrong. I think that that came out quite well. <laughs> Pui Nui is also the connection station for Auckland Airport. Well, we got off a six carriage train and this is just a three carriage train. It might be busier. Ah, we've had to run to get this one. Oh, I'm out of breath now. Having to run up the <laughs> platform. <laughs> that wasn't that much running. It's just the one stop to Manaka. We are now arriving at Manaka, the last stop for the service. Exit here for Manaka Institute of Technology. Please make sure you take all your belongings with you. Have your ticket ready for inspection or tag off with your AT Hop card. For upcoming events and closures on the rail network that may affect your travel, please visit at.govt.nz. Well, I'm so glad that on the train they pronounced correctly the name of this place and it is Monaco, not Manacao. So it's a bit like Monaco, if you remember that. Look, gardens. Okay. 
this is what you can expect when you get to Manico Station. There's a break time, and then there's also a, a Grandi's Cafe. Well, there's an absolutely delightful smell of grass being mm. cut here. And we've just literally come out of the station and being welcomed by a absolutely spectacular park with lakes oh wow various pieces of trees and there are probably a lot of them native to new zealand that you'll have to let me know and there is someone cutting the grass on a tractor There's a plane up there. A reminder that we are actually quite close to Auckland International Airport. But look at this, an absolutely beautiful lake. Paul, look at this. You could almost be in the UK. <laughs> in the lake, there is the obligatory shopping trolley. Look at that. As you can tell from my short sleeves, although Paul's wearing a jacket, it is quite warm today. In fact, it's the warmest day of our stay and it's our last day. It's very sad, but we did decide that it would be nice to go somewhere. And actually, this is turning out to be oh, wow. a rather nice destination. I really do like the grass. And do you know what it reminds me of? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> No, you might think this is weird. It reminds me of Enniskillen because you've got the lakes and when we stayed at the Kelly Hevelin Hotel, we were surrounded by lakes, someone cutting the grass as well, little hills, and it wasn't dissimilar to this. Wow. Really interesting trees. This one has got sort of dangly <laughs> green pods, I suppose you could say. I wonder what it is. I'm kind of scared to touch it because I don't know if it carries some sort of disease or something. I'm sure it doesn't, but when you don't know, then it's maybe better just to admire it. I see ducks and there's a little pontoon here. So if we walk down, we might get a closer look at them. They're coming over this way. Just mind the gap. Hello, duckies. Look, they're all coming over. Well, they're going over there to that side. I see other ducks as well. There's some walking over there, and there's some over on the other bank. Oh, look at this! Look, they're all coming down into the water. Maybe they'll come over and say hello. Two different yeah. groups, and they're going to meet. Do you think that there's going to be some sort of trap off? Yeah. Are these different ones? Different type? These look smaller. Are these females? Are they babies? Oh, oh look, <laughs> they just decided to go their separate ways. Oh no. So they can go underneath for where we're standing. These are babies, look. Some of them, there's down on their backs. Yeah. Well, 
there's another one coming over from there. Oh, look at this one. Well, it's feeding time for the ducks. No, it's feeding time for me. <laughs> Lots of freshly cut grass here. I think that's a bit damp there, Paul. Paul's away over there now, talking to the ducks. I've hopefully avoided the swampy area and I'm going to walk up here and there's a little bridge over there which hopefully will take us to the shops because it's lunchtime. down this way. So can we get up onto this? Is this a path and then a little bridge or something? Oh no, it's a skate park. <laughs> and look, more shopping trolleys in the middle. I think we can walk along this. Yeah, this is a skate park. Are you sure you're going to walk down that? No. <laughs> Oh look, another plane. Air New Zealand, small plane, possibly coming in maybe from Hamilton, maybe even Wellington. So we have to cross this road now, do we? Yeah. Oh, there must be a crossing somewhere. Or do we just jaywalk? Oh, we can just walk along here. We want to cross. I need to wipe this stuff off my sneaker. <laughs> Did you get wet? It got dirty. Oh. <laughs> Didn't we see a bird like that at the zoo? Another shopping trolley. This is where the shopping trolleys actually live. So we finally made it, Paul. Oh our first gosh. pack and save, which is, it's like a wholesale supermarket. I think they sell smaller items as well. And they also have like a fuel station. They do, they have a fuel station and we need a few bits and pieces for our flights home. So we're hoping that we might be able to pick them up here. Oh, wow. What on earth have you bought? Too much. Too Two bags much. full. Oh my god. So there was a reason for coming here. Oh and my gosh, it was so much cheaper. I was just gonna say, did how much did you think we saved? Uh of course do we you did know the honey <laughs> that I got. I paid thirty dollars. And how much was it here? Six. Exactly the same. Yeah. Yours was like a tourist honey. This is like regular 
packaged honey. No, it looked like it was the same though. Well, it might be slightly different. So but I, so I think that it was definitely worth it coming out to Manaku. Want to see more of our show? It's Paul and Marcus. Hit the subscribe button to get all the latest news and content. Well, there's a huge Westfield here as well. So we're going to check out the shops and find somewhere for lunch. Gosh, they've even got a Nando's here. Look, Paul, they've even got a Nando's here. Oh my gosh, doesn't this remind you of Uxbridge? <laughs> it does, and we don't go to Nando's there, so we no. won't go to Nando's here. So we've gone to Magic Walk. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh my God, and I feel like I'm going to die. They did a combo, so you get rice or noodle with three different um, toppings. So I got the sweet and sour pork, soy, chicken, and the barbecue beef or pork rather. So I got the uh, black bean beef with broccoli. I also got the lamb flap and I also got the sweet and sour pork. I don't normally get it, but I decided to make an exception. And it came with a drink. So I had the passion fruit. Is that this one? Yeah. Yours is what, strawberry? Strawberry and it came to $42, which was Not pretty bad. good. And we just about had enough cash left to pay for this. I'm so hungry, I'm gonna faint. You should go eat first. God, I need to eat, I need to eat. Oh my God, my hands are shaking. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Delicious? Mm. Oh God, oh my God. This might just be the best thing I've eaten the whole time. <laughs> mm. 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 I don't normally eat the sweet and sour thing, but I do like that. So yeah, thumbs up to Magic Walk. Well, I think this has been a lovely little day out, don't you? Yes, I think that it's always good to travel outside of the city centre to see what exactly the place has to offer. Yes, indeed, that's right. And we were able to buy some towels, which we might be able to use if we take a shower between our flights on the way home. And the good news is, is that there are now direct trains back to the Britomart in Auckland because it's after three o'clock in the afternoon and they've started up that service again. So we hope you have enjoyed today's show. Yes, we certainly do. Um, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button as well. And we do also read all of your comments as well. We do indeed. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.